Hi guys! Have you ever wondered what games user research means? Hi, I am James Berg. I'm a games user researcher with Electronic Arts, uh, based out of uh, EA Vancouver. Hi, uh, my name is Daniel Narapov. I'm a user research manager with Ubisoft Toronto. What do you do at work? You make the game? I think, I think I help make the game, so I don't make the game per se, but I think I help the guys who make the game by giving them information about what is good about their game, what is bad about their game, what players like, what players don't like, and they can use that information to make their games better. So I'm part of the group of people who make the game. So we kind of look at the game uh, and try and help make it better. One of the ways we do that is we bring people in that play games, like hopefully you guys, uh, we'll bring them in, we'll have you play the game, and we'll watch what you do. And we'll talk to you, and uh, we'll ask you questions, things that you like about the game, uh, things that you don't like about the game, maybe anything that's confusing, or things that are too difficult. Um, because we want to make sure that the game is fun, right? That's what people play games for, for the most part, is fun. Uh, especially if we're making games for guys like you. Um, so you come in, uh, we'll let you play a game, we'll talk to you, uh, and then uh, once we've gotten all your really good feedback, and you've told us how to make the game way better, uh, we're gonna take that and then we're gonna go to the people that actually make the game, the ones that are, that are doing the hard work. Um, and uh, we're gonna talk to them, tell them uh, you know, what you liked, what you didn't like, uh, things that were confusing for you, maybe anywhere that you got stuck that we need to make easier or more obvious, um, or maybe you were really good at the game and you were just too good and it was too easy, uh, and maybe we wanna make it a little bit harder so it's more fun for you. Um, but we're really all about trying to, to help the people that are making the game uh, a little bit better. Do you, like, play video games all day? Almost. I watch other people play video games all day. And I watch them play all video games all day and I ask them questions about what they think and what they like and what they don't like. Then my job is to summarize all that and find things we can do better or things we should uh, fix to make the games better. So I do play a lot of video games, probably more than your parents let you. Um, hopefully more than your parents let you play video games. Um, but my job isn't really to play the video games. Uh, my job is to make sure that the people that are playing them are having a good time. Um, so for me to understand video games, um, you know, I have to play a lot of them, which I'm sure you can understand is really hard work, having to play a lot of video games for your job. Um, but when I'm working and I'm not playing for myself, uh, I'm really watching other people play video games. If you see that people struggle in the game, aren't you gonna help them? So that's a really hard, uh, hard thing and a really good question. Um, sometimes we can, but sometimes we can't. Uh, it's not because we don't want to, you know, we want everyone to, to have fun. Um, but sometimes in order to figure out what's wrong, you need to watch someone that's getting it wrong. You know, if they're, they're playing it and it's too difficult, if you stop them too early and you fix it and you make it easier for them, um, then we're not really going to know why it was too difficult. So we really want to make sure that, you know, once we understand what's going on, then we really want to do that. We want to make sure that, that people are playing and having uh, as much fun as they can. Um, but if we're there and, you know, maybe you're having a, a hard time, we're not necessarily going to be able to help you right at the start. I think it's interesting for me to see what kind of things they're trying to do when they're struggling, see what they're thinking about, see what they're trying to do, see how they're trying to fix it, and then I can use that information to fix the issue for other players. And eventually, yes, after some time, when I see that they're having a hard time, I'll come and I'll help them. Um, I know that might sound mean, uh, but it's kind of like maybe your parents making you eat vegetables or things you don't want to do. Um, you might not like it, but in the long run, it's going to make for, for a better experience for the people playing our games. If you can make the games better, could you please remove all the spiders from all your games? I'm so scared about these things. You know, it's a good question. Me, like, I don't super like spiders either. I find, I find spiders to be absolutely horrifying and horrible, horrible creatures. Like, completely, completely hate spiders. So, if we did a playtest and a bunch of people came in and said we all hate spiders, we would take spiders out. I think it becomes more complicated when some people like spiders and some people hate spiders. And even though the people who like spiders are super wrong, then we need to think about how, how we, what we want to do. So people are afraid of a lot of things. Um, I don't like heights very much. You know, maybe you don't like spiders. Uh, other people are afraid of other things. Um, so sometimes we, we take them out because they are scary. Um, you know, sometimes spiders scare me in games too, especially if they jump out at you. Um, 
But sometimes we just want to make sure that the players know that there are spiders. So, you know, you can ask your mom and your dad, you know, hey, you know, I'm, I'm afraid of spiders. Are there going to be spiders in this game? Um, you know, maybe your parents will know. They can look it up online and look at videos and make sure it's okay for you to play. If you do better games, why people still complain about them on the internet? So, uh, people complain about pretty much everything. Um, you know, maybe you like the color blue, you know, she likes the color green, um, you know, I really like vegetables, maybe you don't. So if we make a game for one person that they really like, another person, maybe it's not for them, they're not going to like it so much. Um, sometimes when we make, you know, kind of very similar games, um, you know, maybe I, some of our sports games, we release them once every year. So that might sound like a long time to you, but for us it's, it's pretty quick. Uh, and sometimes people will like, will like the game that we released last year and then we'll change something and they won't like what we've changed. So sometimes they complain about it. But that's good too, you know, uh, if enough people complain then we know that maybe we did something wrong. And if we did something wrong then we usually want to fix it. So complaining isn't necessarily bad, but it's not necessarily good either. And it does sometimes hurt our feelings when people don't like the games we make. But that's part of making games, that's part of doing creative things. You know, if you make art, maybe someone isn't going to like your painting or your sculpture or whatever else. Um, the same thing can happen with games. I think we make games better and we always help make games a bit better, but it's not always easy or possible to make games perfect. And it's always very difficult to make everybody happy. But we're always trying.